We're back again, and we have a lovely young lady named Shara Roderick, and she's here to tell us about a fabulous place here in this town that a lot of people don't get there. And uh, it's Forestier Underground Gardens. Hi, we're glad to have you Hi, here. Hi, Carol. Thanks for having me. I'm so glad that somebody's talking about this because I've been wanting to come to it for such a long time. And it's great that you come and get us all excited about it now. Yes, as well. <laughs> and now's the perfect time of year to visit because it was the Fresno Summers that inspired Baldassar Forestier to create the underground gardens. Oh he gosh. wanted to get out of that Fresno heat. So these temperatures right now that we're feeling of uh -huh. over 100 degrees every day, that was his first summer here in Fresno. Mm -hmm. And he was trying to think of a way to escape that heat and he thought well why not go underground oh my gosh. and of course it is cooler underground and so he kept going for 40 years creating his entire home and tunnels and courtyards it's absolutely beautiful oh my gosh that sounds so fabulous it is and like you said a lot of people drive right by it it's on shaw avenue right shaw. by the 99 but people just drive on by because it doesn't look like a whole lot from ground level because Baldassar put all of the cool interesting places underneath the ground. Oh my gosh, well, I'm going to talk to my husband. He's got to come this time. Please you know. do. Make stop, it happen. Stop going around now. <laughs> Let's get down there and see that. So what is really there underground? His home? Actual home? You do get to see his home still uh -huh. and also trees. Baldassar was a, a citrus farmer and so he came to Fresno wanting to grow citrus but unfortunately got a piece of land that was full of hard pan. Oh which I think a lot of us Fresno natives are familiar with hard pan, yeah. but Baldassar found a way to grow his citrus trees underground. So we have trees down there that are over a hundred years old oh and they are still producing the most delicious fruit and he put skylights over each and every one of them so they can reach up towards the sun. My gosh. And they're fully protected down there, which is why they're living so much longer than our citrus trees at ground level that normally only live for about 40 or 50 years. Yeah, ours, about, ours are about to poop out. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, this is so exciting. He's got to take me down there and cool me off. Yes. And let me see something really spectacular. Those trees sound so wonderful. Oh, they're beautiful. And Baldassar did have a big dream of some day having people come there as a resort, as a day resort, so they could come and get out of the Fresno heat. Wow. So that resort never happened, but we do still do hour-long tours where guests can come and escape the heat for a little while with us and get to see Baldassar's home and get to know a little bit about this incredible man, this Fresno artist. Wow. Well, and, uh, what is there a charge for for coming to there? There is, yes. Yeah. Uh, it's seventeen dollars for adults, uh -huh. eight dollars for children, and for that you get an hour long tour where you get to go through the tunnels with a knowledgeable tour guide, and they get to tell you how Baldassar uh, was a self taught artist and uh -huh. architect and engineer, <laughs> and you get to see those trees that are over a hundred years old and wow. his home. It's really incredible and definitely worth a stop. Now, do you have to? Uh, at a call and uh, ahead and get your tickets. You don't. No, you just need to show up about 15 minutes before a tour. We do tours Wednesday through Sunday, and they go from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. and start at the top of each hour. So we just tell guests get there 15 okay. minutes before the tour, and we'll get you going. I'm going to get there. I, I, I'm telling <laughs> you, I'm going to get there. I'm keeping you to it. You better come see it. Okay, and thank you so much for coming and reminding of this wonderful thing thing that we have in this city. It's You're very welcome. Thank you for having me. Okay, honey. We'll be right back.